it's a uh, what getting up to 40 today I think it's like 36 more than a half hour walk to our train to Madrid but today is the day that all the computers in the world have gone out apparently <laughs> um, so fortunately we're not flying but we are really crossing our fingers that we make or that this train is traveling because we have a house there to get to Friday night and we did a walking tour on Saturday and then what happened on Sunday? <laughs> you got a bit sick? A little bit. And how long have you been a little bit sick for? Oh, eight, nine days. Yeah. So we haven't really left the apartment. Today's our first outing. That was last Sunday and it's Tuesday today. Um, so fortunately we're doing a house sit and we have it for like two and a half weeks so we still have time to explore a bit except now that Jameis is feeling well enough we're heading to a museum I've woken up with quite a sore throat over a week later I really thought I'd gotten away with it no but hopefully it's just a sore throat for the day luckily we have had a lovely projector yep, the and Olympics the Olympics to watch so it could have been worse, but yeah, yep. eight days without leaving. Oh, and the air conditioner broke <laughs> yesterday. We woke <laughs> up and it was leaking out of the ceiling. So I had to pull the panels out in the bathroom to try and figure out what it was. And it gets like 39 degrees in the day here, so. Yep. Anyway, we'll have to see a pretty museum and get some breakfast.
architect in charge who visited the site almost every day apparently he died three weeks before it finished isn't that a tragedy yeah that's so sad The drugs again. Again? When we were in Porto, how many times do you reckon it happened? Like three or four. I reckon it was at least four people would be up come up and be like, it's only it was marijuana. Yeah. But this time we just had someone drive past and they looked at Seamus. They were driving in their car along this road and they're like <laughs> <laughs> only looking at you. I look dodgy. Why do you look so dodgy? <laughs> tickets we got like over a year ago but there was like a planned terrorist attack and all of her Vienna shows got cancelled and we're very sad and we've like followed her all around the world like we were in Edinburgh the same time as her we were in Dublin the same time as her I passed her by like a day in Milan like we had so many chances but we're like no it's fine because we've got our tickets for Vienna we had our outfits. Mom works in mysterious ways. And she still hasn't posted anything. And we were meant to see her on Thursday night and it's Sunday. So maybe it's delusional, but I am holding out hope that she is desperately trying to reschedule this for another day. For another date, maybe in close by city, if not Vienna again. Who knows? But it's not quite the Vienna trip we had in mind, but we still had fun. Do you think both of us are gonna fit in this elevator? <laughs> oh! You're sideways, my bro. As I wake up, you're not who. Sit.
Zero eins. Hier in der Band, die Conversations Band. You're not heard. This is a steeple from a church that was built back in the 14th century but it got submerged in 1950 when they built the dam. Along with the rest of the town, there was 163 houses. Australia as a place to have lunch at the top of a hike because this is the best idea ever. They bring up all the supplies in this cable car that you can see and the one we ate lunch at was all the way at the top which is like a really long way but then further down they have this other one which is like super popular where we got dessert and drinks and it's just the best idea ever. Okay we're at the little mountain hut on our walk and these are um, Shots made from the pine cones yes, that grow on the, the mountain. Trees. So they collect them and then they make the grub bar themselves. And so we're healthy. Oh, as healthy as alcohol <laughs> can be. <laughs> and this is, what's this? It's called Kaiserschmarrn. So it's like kind of like a scrambled pancake. Uh, and it's so it smells so and good. It's cranberry jam as well as like apple. Mm. Yum. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Look at the view, like, where we are. Just the chapel. That's the Tyrolean flag. So we're in South Tyrol, which is part of Italy, but it was part of Austria. So now that it's been become part of Italy, it's an autonomous province because they want to keep their culture and their language. So they speak German here. Correct me whenever I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so they have the flag that's like, that's quite similar to the Austrian flag. Isn't it is, it? It is. Same it's colors. The Tyrolean eagle on it. Yeah. <laughs>
in Verona and we just spent like four hours, probably three hours, three, four hours, yeah. three, four hours trying to book what we're doing tomorrow because we don't have anything booked and we're like oh maybe we'll fly to Corfu because the flights are cheap maybe we'll do this and it all sounds lovely it sounds like such a privilege right should we fly to Greece tomorrow I just feel like it's starting to get to us a little bit having to do this every couple of days like where are we gonna fly where are we gonna stay how are we gonna get there where's the grocery shop where's the bus station what can we eat is there gonna be a kitchen what e like, sims do we need to buy? What e sims do we need to buy? Are they going to speak English? Do we need cash? Like, yeah. And it's all great, and we're going to so many beautiful places, but like, like just trying to figure out where we were going to go next. We want to go to Montenegro. We're like, okay, it's way too expensive to fly from Verona to Couture. It was like seven hundred dollars each, so we'll go through Corfu but that's too expensive. We'll fly into Tirana, but then we're missing Montenegro. Maybe we'll bus to Milan and then fly to Mostar and then bus in, but that was gonna take way too long. Maybe we'll train down to Rome or to Bali. What's it called, Bavi? And then ferry across. Like, mm. we're very lucky, obviously, but like, I don't know, I feel like. Mm. It's wearing. It's wearing, you know, and we were talking before about how, like when we're doing this, the, the things that we miss the most are the things that we completely take for granted when we're at home. Like, yeah, having a grocery store, having food that we know how to eat and how to cook and having money and having a routine and having the gym that we can go to and just like the routine of it, you know? Mm. Yeah. And we really miss that a lot now. But when we get home, we're not going to notice that. We're going to take that for granted. But we're going to miss what we take for granted now, which is the fact that we can go anywhere. I mean, we're a bit financially limited, but mm. we could go anywhere and we could do anything. And we have no real obligations. But like, it doesn't really feel like a blessing. Also. I just ate half a kilo of apricots. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put that in. Why does no one tell you that that's a diary art thing? I had half a kilo. Because it was cheap and it tasted good. And it's been nothing but trouble since. <laughs> you want me to put that in? Yeah, run it. <laughs> this is informational. I didn't know. See, when you don't have a kitchen and you've been eating out all week, you I'll have just, to just eat anything that's cheap at the grocery store, which I'll is- just have half a kilo of apricots, apricots for dinner. We had apricots and we had some weird seed biscuits with hummus. Mad laxative effects. <laughs> this is what we got. Now you know. But we did finally book something. So tomorrow we're training to Venice. Venice? Two days in Venice. Two nights in Venice. Flying to Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik, 6 a.m. flight to Dubrovnik. Three days in Dubrovnik. Then busing to Montenegro. Mm-hmm. And we haven't booked anything in Montenegro yet. So we spent, yeah, three or four hours and we've managed to book less than a week's worth of stuff. And it was expensive. And it was stuff. really expensive. And all we wanted to get do was to get to Couture. And this was the way to do it. Train to Venice, fly to Dubrovnik, bus to Couture. <laughs> but at least... That'll be in the next vlog. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put that in the next one. We're gonna cut this one off, I think.